Now we will see another concept of specific text that is hobbing. Hobbing means nothing but what? It is nothing but making a number half. Yes or no? Hobbing is nothing but what? Making a number making a number half. That means you tell me what do you mean by half or, or how how can we do the a number half which is nothing but division by yes division by two if you divide any number by two it is nothing the resultant is nothing but a half of that number yes or no yes let us take an example suppose i want to divide a number uh, let us take some 437 uh, by two okay 437 by two simply what i am going to do i will simply half this number so 2 2 times 2 1 time 1 remainder 2 is the 16 1 remainder 0.5 okay so 437 division by 2 how we got 218.5 you may think here so how we got what i am putting here this one and this zero what is the, all these things once again i am explaining you in a clear manner now you see here 4 4 can uh, if you divide a number by 4 how many times it goes 2 times yes or no there is no remainder that's why i didn't put anything uh, after uh, 4 that is before 3 now if you divide the number 3 okay how many times it goes 2 1 time yes 2 1 0 2 now what is the remainder 3 minus 2 1 put that one before the next number like this now it became 17 how many times it goes 17 in uh, 2 8 times so 2 8 is 16 so 17 minus 16 what is the remainder 1 so every time you have to put the remainder before the next number like this so 1 if you put 1 okay uh, that is the last final remainder but if i need the answer in decimal point put a point here after that i can add a zero here so now it became 10 how many times it goes 5 times so what is my answer 218.5 one more example if I want to divide a number, let us say some 375 by 2. If I want to make this number half, how can I do? Now, see here. 3, how many times it goes? 1 time. So, 2 ones are 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, put that remainder 1 before the next number like this in the top. Now, it became how much? 17. 1, 7, 17. How many times it goes in 2 table? 8 times 2 is 2 8 is 16 that is 17 minus 16 what is the remainder 1 again put the remainder 1 before the next number now what is it is it is taken as 15 how many times it goes 2 7 times 14 finally what is the remainder you got 1 but i need the answer in decimal points so put a decimal point here after putting a decimal point you can add a zero here yes or no so how much it became 10 so how many times it goes 5 times so the answer is 187.5 like this you can go with any big number like let us take some uh, one big number okay so three seven two eight nine six five seven division by two i want to make it a half you can go fast like this okay how see here so two ones are one two eight is sixteen two six are two one two fours are eight 2 4 the 8, 1 remainder, 2 8 the 16, 2 2 the 4, 1 remainder, 2 8 the 16, 1 remainder, point, I can add a 0, so 2 5 is the 10, that's it. So, within a single step, you can write the answer like this. Now, we'll take one more example. See here, suppose if I want to divide some uh, 4 6 1 3 6, division by 2. So, I want to make this number half, that is 4 6 1 3 6. Now, what is the answer? You tell me. 2 2 is 4, 2 3 is 6 is 1. Will go in 2 table? No, it won't go. But it go 0 times. 2 0 is a 0. So, 1 minus 0, what is the remainder? 1. Put that 1 before the next number. Now, it became 13. Okay. So, 2 6 is a 2 1. Again, 1 remainder, 2 8 is 16. So, this will be your half. Okay. Now, after halving concept okay let us see what are the advantages of halving so first advantage of halving that is any given number x multiplication by 5 50 500 and so on so how we are going to use this halving concept okay in case of multiplication by any number by 5 50 500 and so on series 
okay now let us take an example i want to multiply some 4 5 3 okay into 5 so i want to multiply 453 into 5 right now see here how can we do this one in an easy and simple way first simply add a zero at the end to the number so what is the number given number 453 so simply add a zero at the top of at the end of the number in the top okay so that uh, it is visible as a separate thing which we put there okay but it is actually not there so what is the number 453 simply put a zero at the end after putting a zero at the end you just make it a half how much will you get so two twos two twos two six one remainder two fives so the answer is two two six five that means 453 into 5 is how much double two six five one more example 7357 into 5 I want to multiply 7357 into 5 what I need to do first step add a 0 at the end after adding a 0 make this number a half okay so 2 3 is a 2 6 is a 2 7 is a 2 8 times and 2 5 times so my answer is 3 6 7 8 5 you may get doubt why I am putting a 0 at the end why I am doing a half and now I will tell you the logic behind this one. Suppose if I want to multiply any number by 5, can I write 5 as 10 by 2? Yes or no? Which is nothing but x into 10 by 2 on the whole. Suppose if I want to multiply any number by 5, I can simply multiply the number by 10 first. Yes or no? When I am multiplying a number by 10 is nothing but putting a 0 at the end. Right? Yes or no? Yes. After multiplying, after putting a 0 at the end, what I need to do? I need to make it divided by 2. Division by 2 is nothing but what? Simply making it a half. So that's how we are going to get the answer like this. In the similar way, we can do the multiplication by 50 also. Any given number into 50. Now suppose same number if you take 453 into 50. This time what I am going to do? Simply add two zeros at the end. Simply add two zeros at the end how much will you get okay after adding two zeros make it a half so two twos two twos two six times two five times and put drop the zero as it is so your answer is double two six five zero one more example seven three five seven into fifty so what is the step you need to take first add two zeros at the end add two zeros at the end after adding two zeros make it the number half so two three times one two six times one two seven times two eight times two five times drop that one more zero extra as it is so your answer is three six seven eight five zero again you may get the doubt why we are uh, uh, adding two zeros at the end and making it a half the same logic we are going to follow here okay so what is that logic this is the logic for 5 and this is the logic for 50 see here x into 50 is nothing but 50 can be written as 100 by 2 on the whole it will be x into 100 by 2 yes or no this is another logic now x into 100 first x into 100 is nothing but what putting adding a zero, two zeros at the end yes or no now after adding two zeros what i am going to do divided by two nothing but halving right so that's how we can multiply a number by 50 right similarly we will go through the 500 also okay so x into 500 so uh, simply yes so let us take 453 into 500 i want to multiply yes this time you tell me how many zeros I have to put that uh, put at the end yes three zeros why because 500 means nothing but thousand by two so that's why i'm adding three zeros at the end after adding three zeros what i need to do yes division by two so make it a half finally so two twos two twos two six times two five times dropping two zeros at the end so answer is double two six five double zero right similarly one more example so anyhow uh, the one more example is let us take some two uh, three seven six five three into five hundred how many zeros we need to add three zeros make it a half so two ones two eights two eights two twos two six times two five times zero zero so your answer is one double eight two six five double zero so that's how we can apply the halving technique in case of multiplication by five fifty five hundred and so on series 
Now we will see another advantage of halving. Now we will see another two advantages, another two applications of the halving that is one is x division by 4 and another one is x multiplication by 25 where x can be any given number. Okay, right now see here. Suppose if I want to divide any number by 4, okay, let us take some 4, 3, 7, 6. I want to divide a number by 4. Whenever you want to divide any number by 4, division by 4 is nothing but making half two times. Yes or no? Yes. So that's what I, we are going to do here. Division by 4 is nothing but halving a number a number twice. Halving a number twice. So first see the given number. What is the given number? 4, 3, 7, 6. Make it a half. How much will you get? So 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 8, 2, 8. So I got a half of 4, 3, 7, and 6 as 2, 1, double 8. Again make it a double. Again make it a half. So 2 ones, 0, 1 remainder, 2 nines, 2 fours. So the answer is 1, 0, 9, 4. That means if you want to divide a number by 4, simply make it half twice. First, take the given number, make it a half. How much you got? 2, 1, double 8. Again, make it half of 2, 1, double 8. How much you got? 1, 0, 9, 4. So if you want to divide a number by 4, make it half twice. One more example I am going to tell you. Suppose 5, 3, 4, 8, 6 division by 4. I want to divide this number by 4. So simply make it half twice but fast. So see here, first make it a half. So 2 2s, 2 6s, 2 7s, two, 2 4s, okay, 2 3s. I made it a half. Again make it a half. See, after halving you got one result. So that result you need to make it a half. How much will you get? 2 1s, 2 3s, 2 3s. 2 7s okay 2 ones finally one remainder but, but i need answer in decimal point put a point add a zero so two fives so your answer is one double three seven one point five like this we can apply division uh, halving in case of division by four where division by four is nothing but halving to a number twice now we will see another use of halving in case of multiplication by 25 but we are going to see a small change in uh, multiplication by 25 here suppose uh, when you are multiplying any number by 25 let us take an example 436 into 25 i want to multiply a number 436 with 25 okay here you tell me x into 25 so 25 can be written as 100 by 4 so what you are thinking first divide the uh, multiply the number by 100 then division by 4 where division by 4 is nothing but halving twice but here a small change here we are not going to uh, divide the number okay twice but we are going to directly divide the number by 4 so how see here in an easy way first whenever you are multiplying any number by 25 simply directly divide the number by 4 directly just 436 this is a given number which we need to multiply with 25 so simply divide the number by 4 directly if you divide the number by 4 directly so 4 ones 0 4 nines we got the answer as 109 now what is the remainder we got finally since the remainder since the number is exactly divided by 4 okay the remainder we got is 0 the remainder we got is 0 if you are getting the remainder 0 simply add two zeros at the end simply add two zeros at the end okay suppose let us take another number 437 into 25 same thing divide the number by 4 how much will you get four ones four zero four nines with one as a remainder whenever you are getting one as a remainder simply add 25 you may think why we have to put uh, uh, double zero at the end if you get uh, zero as a remainder why we have to put 25 if you get one as a remainder at the end okay now see here whenever you are multiplying a number by 100 okay you will be having lastly two zeros at the end yes or no right for uh, for these numbers right see here if double zero this is exactly divided so these two zeros are going to drop as it is but here after one there are two zeros so this is 100 so this 100 you need to divide again by 4 only so what is 100 by 4 25 suppose if it is if you are getting 2 as remainder so 200 by 4 is how much 50 that means 
So whenever you are getting the 2 as remainder, you have to add 50 at the end. Similarly, if you are getting 3 as remainder at the end, okay, that is 300 by 4, which you need to add 75 at the end. Okay, see once again, whenever, see so this is the remainder and these are the digits you have to add at the end. Digits at the end. So if you are getting 0 as remainder, add 2 zeros. If you are getting 1 as remainder, add 25. If you are getting 2 as remainder, add 50. And if you are getting 3 as remainder, add 75. This is the remainder table. And according, digits table which you need to add at the end when you divide a number by 4. Okay. So let us take one more example. Suppose, let us take some 7, 3, 4, 6 into 25. 7, 3, 4, 6 into 25. We will directly divide the number by 4. How much will you get? So 4 ones, 3 remainder, 4 is a 32, 1, 4 3 is a 12, 2, 4 6 is a 24. Finally, I am getting 2 as a remainder. This is a remainder 2. When I am getting 2 as a remainder, what I need to add at the end? How many? What are the digits I need to add at the end? When 2 is the remainder? Yes, 50. So my answer is 183650. Okay, and the logic behind this one is this one okay so that's how we can multiply a number by 25 okay what are be the big number you take you will get the, you are going to get the same answer suppose if i take some big number like this say uh, 53762 into 25 i want to multiply simply divide the number by 4 4 ones are 4 4 three is a 2 one 4 four is a 16 4 four is a 16 okay 2 i got at the end anyway 4 zero is a 0 Finally, 2 is the remainder. So, simply put a 50 at the end. Why? Because remainder is 2. So, that's how that much simple we can multiply a number by 25. Okay. No need of even knowing the table of 25. Okay. So, those are the advantages of halving. Now, we will move to the next concept, never multiplication techniques.